we're going to build today, people. We are going to build a Fallout 4, your special vault Tech exclusive publication by using children's books. Let's get started. <laughs> Let's talk about the stuff that we're going to need to make this item. So what I did was I went to a thrift store and I picked up this hardback baby book. Now this is, you know, this is kind of a typical size, but I tried to get something that was very similar to the size of the prints. Now these prints, I printed off and there's a link in the description below if you guys want to print off a set of these. Now what I did was once I got them printed, I, I shopped for the book and I tried to find a book that was close enough in size. Um, another item that you're going to need is going to be some paints. Now I've got some browns and blacks here, just some real basic colors. Now we're going to use these for weathering. Of course with paints you're going to need paint brushes. And to be able to attach these pictures to your book, I've got some glue sticks here and some scissors. Let's get started, shall we? First let's go ahead and start by trimming out this, this book cover. And we're going to try to split this right down the center. There we go. Now that's cut right down the center. Now we have our two halves. This is going to be the front and this is going to be the back. Okay, now that we have our front and back cut out, let's go ahead and look at the book and see how well these line up. Now, I have a feeling that this is not going to fit. It's not going to be exact. This is the closest size of a book that I could find, but I'm going to have to trim off a small little section of this book right here. It shouldn't be too bad. It's just a basic card back baby book. Another thing to take into consideration is to make sure that you get enough pages to do the entire book. A lot of these only have four or five pages, and it might not be big enough. If you have too many pages, you can probably just cut off the extra and make do with what you have. I might have to do that. I think about right there will do. There we go. Ta-da! Okay, so up to this point, I've counted out all the amount of pages that I need, but it looks like with this book, there's gonna be two extra pages. So my plan is to just cut these right along the seam, put a little bit of the glue stick down inside the, the cover, fold it back around, and trim it on this end. Now that we have the whole book set up, let's go ahead and start putting our pages down. I basically just want to put a good amount of glue all over the front of this and to the back of this and make sure that this thing stays nice and glued down.
I'm gonna do my best job of just trying to line this up the best I can. It's not gonna be perfect, but it's gonna be pretty close. Any overages that we have along the edges, we can go back and trim out. So now we're going to try to weather the inside of the pages a little bit. Just got a little bit of brown here. And, uh, just going to kind of paint it on a little bit. And then, uh, I'm thinking maybe just kind of dab it. It doesn't have to be pretty, which is kind of a nice thing when you're building a prop that you can make it look weathered, make it look old. Once again, this is kind of from a post-apocalyptic time, so we want it to look like it's survived the nuclear fallout. The pages are all dirty and grimy. I mean, uh, you can add a little bit of water to your paint, make it almost like a water paint. You can kind of just kind of blob it and smear it wherever you want if you want a little bit of, along the bottom here. You know, you can just kind of rub it in. And that's what's so cool is that it doesn't matter. It looks like, it looks like stained. Um, I've seen some people use tea to stain things to make it look very old. Um... Everybody's got different techniques. I'm not professional by any means. I just want it to look very tattered. And just worn out. That about wraps it up for this video. Here it is. Your Vault Tech, your special hardback edition baby book. Great Fallout collectible made for a low, you know, low cost, um, not a big budget. A dollar for the glue sticks, 79 cents for the book. A little bit of time, a little bit of patience. Looks amazing. The weathering came out pretty cool inside the pages. And uh, this is just a cool piece to have. Um, Anybody who collects Fallout, you know, memorabilia, this will look good on your shelf. If you like this video, click the like button, subscribe, and stay tuned for more do-it-yourself props.